What is up everybody? It's Sean from Fast Break Lacrosse and today guys we are going to be doing a review of the Stick Grip Grips. As you can see I have three different colors here. Uh, I think I'm just going to be going with green. I think the red and green obviously Christmas. But I think I would rather raffle these two off to you guys, do a little giveaway. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. We are going to be doing the green one and I'm not sure if this is actually how it comes. I'm not sure if they're actual going to have labels or anything like that. Um, when they shipped it out to me, it was just in a regular shipping box and then just these three in there. Obviously with some packing tape or packing paper just to cushion it up. But So I'm not sure if they're going to have branding or anything like that. If you go to the website and order for yourselves, this is just for what I'm doing. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen these before like on Instagram or Facebooks or stuff like that. If you have not, this is a grip. Supposedly, you just stick it right over your bat, your lacrosse shaft or anything like that. Take this tab and start pulling, and then it'll start unwinding this whole thing and get smaller to your shaft or your, like I said, your baseball bat or whatever you want to use it for. And I think that's how they started off is with baseball bats and then start probably, people start reaching out for other items. And that's why we're doing it with the lacrosse stick. So I think if you're going to be doing it on a short, shorty, that's about how far, these things are 11 inches, so that's about how far you're going to go. If you're going to do it on a pole, I don't think they do any bigger sizes or different sizes, but I'm assuming if you're going to do it on a pole, ew, it's a big shot. Um, maybe you could butt two up together. I don't know, but that's actually pretty cool. It'd be a little Christmas, huh? But yeah, so there we go with that. And again, like I said, if you have not seen these, yeah, you put it over your shaft and you start pulling this tab. They claim no heating, no tape, no um, glue. It's supposed to just grip and go. So um, let's get into the specifics with it. Um, it also comes with an instruction book, but this is meant for like a base. This one instruction is all for a baseball bat, but I'm assuming it's all the same stuff. And I, if you go on their website, guys, they have instructions for lacrosse sticks, but I'm sure it's pretty simple. Like I said, I printed everything out, so we could go from that. Right off of their website, I'll leave the link down below. You guys go take it out. This is the lacrosse one. You can always see what's going on, and I'll get closer with you guys. But let's just kind of go over what they're stating on their website, and we'll get into it from there. So they're saying 1.5 ounces, ultra lightweight, so that is pretty light. And it's also saying it's 1.1 millimeter diamond, diamond grip texture. So it's all just one piece, not like it's a roll of tape that you're gonna have to roll this on. No, it's just all one piece. Like I said, you, you're gonna pull this tab and it's, we'll get into it. But they're saying the diamond grip texture, I'll get a little closer for you. So as you can see the spirals in it, that's all just, this is all just one solid piece. It's not gonna unwind or anything like that. What unwinds is this tape. So you can see it's all the way in there. And I'm assuming this is obviously the thickest you could go. So baseball bat, I'm assuming what this, again, I think that's what they were meant for. Um, no glue, no heat, no ruined gloves. I don't think it's gonna ruin the gloves, obviously, just with their texture. Um, but obviously no, no heat, no glue, no tape, anything like that. Man, it can save you some time. If, you, if you're in a rush and you like grip, put it on, pull the tab, you're done. Um, installs in seconds, 11 inches long, lasts 10 times longer than tape. I don't know. Like I said, my big thing is when I used to play with the shorts, I call them shorts guys, sorry, shorties, whatever you want to call it, short pull, whatever. Um, I used to use Renfro Pro Tape and I used to go about halfway and that was always my thing. I just, it wasn't too thick for the glove or anything like that, but you still had grip. So that's why I love that. This. 11 inches it gets about to where I like it maybe a little bit more another inch or two and that's where I kind of have my grip so that's the only thing that sucks again I don't know if you can butt them up maybe you could buy two butt them up and cut it where you don't need it we're here to test it out let's try it out guys and uh, excellent for shooting I guess the grip helps with shooting I don't know that's up to you guys so now let's get into how we install this See, I've been seeing videos where they say, and I think it even says on their instructions right here, to pull towards the barrel, which obviously they're talking about a baseball bat. But on their lacrosse one, they're showing it pull it towards like your, your butt end. And this is probably going to be backwards, I don't know. But you see right there, it's saying to pull it down towards the butt end. So I'm assuming we'll go through here. Nope. Backwards. This way. And I think you get to wherever you want the grip to start. 
I don't know if I want to go over that end cap though. A little button or tape saver, whatever you guys want to call it. I think I'm going to do it the opposite way and just have this start right at the end of the tape saver and let's see how that works. So I'm going to try to line this up the best I can with right at the end of that tape saver. It's kind of hard because you can't really see it. So I'm, all right, so it's going to start from this end. I don't know if you have to yank it. What does it say? It doesn't say anything about, oh, that's, yeah, that's not hard at all to really pull. But as you guys can see it, let me get close for you guys. If I pull it, it breaks. Or not breaks, but pulls it in. I'm, I'm trying to do this slow, guys, so I could see if I'm going to get that grip right on that edge of my tape saver. But you see how I'm just, just pulling this cord, and it's slowly uh, right about there. And now I'm going to kind of speed it up to see if I can get that same grip. Ooh, maybe it is a little hard to pull. Jeez. All right, so maybe you have to do this a lot easier with two people. Or maybe this is why they say to pull it at the butt end. All right, guys, so this is kind of a little difficult. Not too bad, but I think the faster. All right, I kind of got it. It's not going to focus, guys, but you can see it's already peeling off and going down thin to the shaft. It's not focusing. Sorry, guys. So let's just go ahead and finish this off. Try to keep this on camera for you guys. I mean, it's kind of a pain, and maybe this is why they don't want you going towards the shaft. Maybe they want you to go out that way so you don't have all this cable. Again, I'm learning just like you guys. Yeah, because this is the only thing that sucks is when you pull it, it starts getting wrapped around your hand. A lot of the cord here. I'm just gonna hold it by the grip now and just pull it. Now you have yourself a slinky when you're done. Holy cow. So it's not too bad, guys. That was my first time, obviously. I could probably do a little bit better next time. Um, right off the bat, yeah, that's got, that's actually gripping pretty good. Let me come around. So as you guys can see, see if I get a bit of background. I didn't get it all the way to the edge like I wanted, but. You could see where the, the, the tape saver ends as well. So it comes down quite a bit to grip the shaft. So it's, it's, it's pretty good. So, so far, yeah, it's, I mean, it's gripping. Sorry, a little sticker or something on there. It's, let me get some gloves on. These gloves are brand new, so it's gonna be the grippiest of grip. You can see these things are brand spanking new, guys. They're kind of still a little stiff, but let me, yeah, that's that's got a lot of grip for sure. Lots of grip. That's probably one thing I don't like so far. I mean, but you could fix it by putting some tape right here. But again, that's going back to the thing. I think they said no tape or anything, but I would recommend tape right here because if you're sliding down, it's rolling it back. I'm not sure if you guys can pick that up, but it rolls it back right there if you're sliding down. Other than that, if we put some tape there, it's got a lot of grip. Now I'm gonna try to see if I can maybe twist it. Doesn't seem like it wants to twist. Yeah, I mean, it's it's on there. Again, I don't know how long it's gonna last. They say 10 times longer than tape, but I mean, if you like this grip, if you guys like a lot of grip, this is, this is something to go with for sure. Um, the only thing I'm not liking is like if you're playing, you're sliding your hands around or anything like that, it, it picks it up right here. But like I said, you could probably just roll some tape on there and you'll be solid. Um, it fits over that tape saver really good as well. It's so crazy because it's, it like shrinks around it. But yeah, it's not twisting on me and I have, like I said, brand new gloves on and everything guys. It's not, no twisting at all. It's actually twisting the shaft because I can't even grip it over here. Yeah, that's a lot of grip. Ooh, fix that head for shame. 
Shane Lack Zombie dies, guys. If you guys have not seen this, I know this is going out. Woo! Go follow him, guys. I'll link him down below. He made that for me. That's a pretty cool, awesome deal. But if you're a player that likes a lot of grit, um, maybe, or even just kids. I know kids like a lot of grit for sure. You could definitely purchase this for them. And it could also work for like women because I know they don't use really use gloves. Yeah, they could definitely. I mean, and what I like about it is it softens up your shaft too. It's not like just solid. So I'm sure if you get checked, you could feel a little bit more. This has that little bit of thickness. So when you get checked, it doesn't really hurt as much. If you have a concave like shaped shaft like this one, if it picks it up, you guys could kind of see. Um, let me get a little closer. You can see it doesn't really get into those grooves. I don't know if it's going to pick it up on the camera here. Yeah, it's going to be really hard. But if you guys could see right there, it doesn't really stick into the groove of, of a concave one. It definitely sticks to all the flats. But you could see that little gap right there. But again, guys, it still has a lot of grip. It's not like it's twisting or anything like that just because it's not sitting in there. I'm not sure how it does on the carbon shafts. I'm not sure on that. This is obviously an alloy shaft. Um, and also the ones with the, like the texture shafts, like the sandpaper texture feel. But you guys can try it out yourselves. Like I said, I'm giving these away. Um, comment below if you'd like one of these. Uh, maybe we'll go live on the Instagram. Maybe this weekend coming up and uh, give these away. So yes, comment below guys if you would like one of these. Um, what should be a cool word? Just type in grip for a comment guys. If you just type grip, um, you will be entered. Make sure you are following us, subscribe to our channel and uh, you could be entered to win one of these guys. Um, so going back guys, yes, it does have a lot of grip. It does work like it is. I don't know, again, just how it is right now. It's, it's great. After a week or two, I don't know. Maybe we'll come back and get to it. But I think, it, I think it's solid. I know there's other grip companies out there. Um, this is the only one I have been doing a review on right now. Maybe we could do reviews on those others as well. Is it for me? No, I'm more still of a tape guy. I'd rather still like tape. This is just too much grip for me. And um, I think on their website, they do have multiple colors. I probably wanna say like seven of them. And I think your solid colors are like 1995. And I think they do have a couple of different tech, like not textured, uh, different design ones. But I think the prices go up a little bit more if you want more of a design in your grip. Solid colors are only 20 bucks. That's not bad at all, especially if they're claiming that it's going to last 10 times longer than tape. So if you are a tape guy and you like a lot of grip, try these out. If it lasts longer, hey, there you go. If not, it's 20 bucks. I mean, I'm sure you could afford it. But uh, to wrap that up, guys, yes. That is the stick grip. Here's the green one. Like I said, guys, we're gonna give these away. Comment below, grip, and uh, make sure you are subscribed to our channel, following our Instagram, that's how you get entered. And we will go live, uh, like I said, maybe this weekend we'll do an announcement, when we'll go live and uh, give, give these two away to you guys. So, uh, hope everybody's staying safe out there. Thank you for tuning in. You guys are awesome. If you guys like the merch, please go check out fblax.com. This is actually not mine. This is from Art or Lax. If you guys do not follow them, I'll link them down below too. He's got some cool stuff. <clears throat> if you guys want any dyed heads or anything like that, check out Lax Zombie Dyes. Other than that, I'm out. Later, guys.